Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 28 solution. So today's aptitude questions, I have taken it from the Zoho sales exam. So last Sunday, the Zoho sales exam was held. So I have taken three aptitude questions from that sales exam, what they have asked. We are going to discuss about those three aptitude questions with solution in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, the sum of the present ages of father and his son is 60 years. Six years ago, father's age was five times the age of the son. After six years, son's age will be. So what they are asking us to find is, what is going to be the son's age after six years? So we don't know the present age of father and son. So we are going to assume it as, let father's age be X and son's age be Y. They are saying that, the sum of present ages of father and son is 60 years. So present age of father and son, we are going to add it together. The sum of their ages is going to be 60. So x plus y is equal to 60. We are going to consider it as first equation. And the second line, what they are saying, 6 years ago. So 6 years ago, father's age. So x minus 6 means father's age 6 years ago is going to be 5 times the age of the son 6 years ago. So 5 times the age of the son 6 years ago. So this is the equation with respect to the second line what they have given. If you solve this equation means you will get the answer as minus 6 plus 5y is equal to 24. We are going to take it as a second equation. Solving this first and second equation that is adding those two equations x will be getting cancelled. So y plus 5y you will get as 6y. So 6y is equal to 60 plus 24 you will get the answer as 84. So keeping y one side and taking 6 to the other side means you will get the value of y is equal to 14. This value of y is going to be the present age of son. So they are asking us to find the son's age after 6 years. So we are going to add 6 years to the son's age. So you will get the answer as 20 years. So the second question is, if the consonants in the word draw are first arranged alphabetically and the vowels are put in between two pairs of consonants in the alphabetical order, which of the following will be fourth from the right end after the rearrangement. So what they are saying is they are going to arrange the consonants in this word row in alphabetical order. So what are the consonants here? So D, R and V are going to be the consonants. So they are going to arrange it in alphabetical order. So D, R and V and also they are saying that the vowels in this word row are also being arranged in alphabetical order and they are being inserted between two consonants. So E will come here and O will come here. So if you see means D, R, V is going to be the consonants in the alphabetical order and E and O is going to be the vowels in the alphabetical order and they are asking us to find the fourth letter from the right end. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be the fourth letter. The fourth letter is going to be the letter E. So the last question is, in a queue of children, Arun is fifth from the left and Suresh is sixth from the right. When they interchange their places among themselves, Arun becomes 13 from the left, then what will be Suresh position from the right? So what they are saying is in a queue of children, Arun is 5th from the left. He is standing in the 5th position from the left and Suresh is standing 6th position from the right. We don't know what is going to be the total number of children in that queue. And the next line what they are saying is, if they interchange their position, so Suresh comes to Arun's position, Arun comes to Suresh's position means Suresh will be in this position and Arun will be 13th position from the left. So Arun is going to be 13th position from the left. So this is the two statements what they are given. First we have to identify the total number of children in that queue. So how we are going to find the total number of children in that queue? You take Arun as the this second equation. So Arun is standing in the 13th position. So to the left of Arun how many children are going to be stand? So 12. So 12 students are going to be stand before Arun so that Arun will be in 13th position. So 12. And then how many children are going to be on the right side of Arun? So for this we are going to compare the first two equations. So Suresh position is 6th from the right from the first statement. And from the second statement Arun is going to be 13th from the left. Because they are interchanging the position they are going to be on the same side from the right side if you see means. So Arun will be standing 6th from the right side. So after Arun, how many children are going to be stand? 
So five children are going to be there after Arun. So 12 plus five we have identified. Also we have to add the Arun's position. No, so we are going to add plus one. So the total number of children in that particular queue will be 18 children. So 18 children are going to be in that particular queue. So now what they are asking us to find, then what will be the Suresh position from the right? So from right, what is going to be the Suresh position we have to identify. So if you take means already we have seen the same method with Suresh and Arun from the right. Similar way we are going to take it from the left. So Arun's position is fifth from the left means Suresh position is also going to be fifth from the left. So in the total numbers, if you subtract four means you will get the answer as 14 such that Suresh position is 14th position from the right. So 14th is the right answer. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.